right now, of all the pediatric retinal vascular diseases, uh, I think Coats is unfortunately one of the ones that we know the least about. We don't know the genetics really of it. Uh, we don't know uh, who it's going to affect because it doesn't tend to run in families. And so what we uh, are w trying to figure out is ways of uh, identifying kids at risk or kids who have this disease. And there are initiatives being proposed throughout the country and throughout the world uh, to uh, screen children in a more complete way for eye disease than is traditionally done at the pediatrician's office. And that might be able to catch some patients with this disease earlier. There are doctors in this country that have uh, dedicated a lot of time to trying to f identify uh, all sorts of eye disorders at an earlier age because we know that if something is discovered before someone turns one or two years old, you can really prevent severe vision loss. Whereas if you allow some disease to ha happen to a child for a long period of time, the vision loss is going to be permanent. And so the idea of catching this early can be done through photographic screening, uh, which is, was proposed and we discussed at the meeting. Uh, it can be done through other kinds of screening like even prenatal genetic testing for some diseases. Now we're not there yet for Coats disease, but uh, one day that might be the way that we can figure out that somebody is at risk for developing a retinal vascular disease in their eye that could cause them to be blind.